Hey everyone, Jamie Phillips, Action Auto Parts. Now, uh, part of Saturday's busyness was, uh, besides getting the building wired that Andy done, he bought that 5.8 uh, engine out of that Ford truck. So we went up, pulled it down here on the gravel, got it out, and then we pulled it back out of the way. Uh, luckily for him, the transmission and stuff was done out. It was out when I bought the truck. But, uh, got that 5.8 pulled and then he loaded the 57 Ford up this morning and then came back out and put that uh, motor there on the front of his trailer. It's for a different project. But uh, that was part of Saturday's. Uh, let's go up on top of the hill. All right, so Saturday sold uh, bezel and uh, some trim out of that gold uh, 96 F250 there and the 80, 85-ish or I don't know. Anyway, the red Z28 Camaro down on the bottom lot that I've actually just been selling some stuff off of. It's kind of crazy. A uh, guy came back and got the mirror uh, off of it and then another gentleman came. There's a black 86 uh, F-150 four-wheel drive. Uh, it's see it right there uh, got the windshield trim uh, off of it and then we jump back a row the wife was getting some of her cooking done I was about 30 minutes late for church but still got there in time uh, this morning and and so I drove separately and I was gonna try to sneak out of there and she said you said you'd go to the grocery store yeah when she listens she's gonna hear me imitate her you said you go to the grocery store no she don't sound like that so I went to Walmart with her we got groceries and oh my god me her Barney's food Axel's food and she had to get some of her protein supplements a few things like that and it was three hundred and eighty nine dollars I'm like, holy smoking guns. Uh, anyway, so the alternator off this 2011 Sonata uh, Saturday as well. And then actually the truck that I showed you there in earlier that uh, that Andy took the 5.8 out of it, I sold that driver's door out of it. Uh, so that truck's parking down pretty quick. Uh, both doors are sold, a fender, the front bumper, that big heavy duty bumper, now the engine. Uh, and I've done sold the steering column. Thank God he hadn't come back and got it yet. It made it a whole lot easier to uh, move it. So hopefully tomorrow I can catch a break, somebody be here or whatever, and we'll pull it back in a spot because I'd hate for Paul to come and get the, uh, want to get the column and it's sitting down front because it'd make it awful aggravating to move. So sell, 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 sold some stuff, got the building wired, but I made a purchase. My first ever. Mitsubishi truck. I don't know that I've ever even given enough thought that they made a truck. But I guess they did because I bought one. It's a uh, Mitsubishi Raider. Yeah. Raiders of the Lost Arks or whatever. So, naturally, here's kind of how they'll leave them when you buy them. Which, if that's a good jug, I can get a spout for it. But they'll just leave junk laying in them. Sometimes you find good stuff, sometimes you don't. Like a lot of them, it comes in a little rusty. It's got some dings and some dents, but they drove it off the trailer down there on the lot. And uh, I said, i tell you what, because they kept bragging about how good it run. I said, you drive it up on top of the hill and put it in line. And man, it didn't smoke. He shot up the hill in just to getting it. Um, so I don't know. I, I haven't even listed it yet. I'm gonna try to get it listed tomorrow. But uh, it's a, uh, yeah, it's a pickup truck. Not probably the best, but not the worst. I mean, you know, it's the the inside actually is in better shape than the outside. Uh, but I'll have to get some trash bags and get uh, the trash out of it. And uh, all right, door panels hung on that door. I forgot about that. There we go. But uh, anyway, had a hundred and I think ninety six thousand miles on it. So of course, windshields broke naturally. But uh, I don't sell a lot of windshields anyway, so I'm not going to sweat that detail. Uh, but like I said, I hadn't ever had one, and it is a 09, 2009 Mitsubishi Raider truck. But uh, the hood's pretty decent on it. 
I think my front bumper cover. So that stuff is usually a, a pretty good seller. Uh, I think that fender is good. Seemed like maybe the other fender had a big rust spot in it, uh, which which hurts. Yeah, but probably in a lot of these out here in the junkyard. I don't know, but we'll find out. I guess we'll see that parts out. But uh, I wish it was four wheel drive. I ain't lying. I'd have probably just used it around here to try to be easy on Betty a little bit because uh, she's getting wore out on me, guys and gals. But anyway, so I made that purchase, sold some parts, got the building wired up. Uh, here's a rock. I don't know where the same hill that come from out in the middle of the field. But we don't like that stuff. Let's lay over here in this junk. So now, without... Oh, uh, real quick before I complete my other sentence. Um, I came down this morning uh, going with the church to unlock the gates so Andy and them can come get that motor and Barney see me. Come running down and I just like pulled in, unlocked the gate, was running back and he caught, he was coming down and he stopped just about in front of that office. So I pulled over, gave him some treats, talked to him just for a couple minutes and I said, Barney, I gotta go. I'll come back after a while. So, man of my word, not that Barney remembered, but I came back and I, we've got him some food and, and some another bag of treats at, at Walmart. And uh, he met me at the gate. He, you know, I, I passed, he seen me. And hey, Turkey, come up here. I gave him some treats, put him out a can of food. He ran over and looked at it and he's went back home. He stayed like five minutes and didn't eat his food. He just wanted his treats. But if the other animals don't beat him to it, he'll probably be back. Now, I'm gonna go down and mark this proposed site for my new driveway that, where the house goes. Uh, Cause I turned in my paperwork and I kept forgetting to do it. And I don't want them to ride out through here to look for it and then can't find it. And then on another note, even though that's a landfill over there, but look at that sunset. Mm -mm -mm. Alrighty, so I am ready to go back to the house. As much as I love our home, I just wish we were living here. It just would uh, really, really tickle me to death if we could get all that sold and be living out here and hopefully lower some debt load. But baby steps, I gotta keep remembering that. All right, so I found these two little old, I guess kind of aluminum rods. They had a, I don't know what they were for, a little black rubber cap on each end. So I knocked one off, drove them in the ground. Walmart didn't have any type of a, ribbon like surveyor's ribbon or anything they thought they had something in the hunting department but it was gone and so uh here comes somebody hey, buddy, how you doing there, man? and so they had one of them little old hunting cheap hunting vests for seven dollars i said screw it i gotta have something so when the state drives by if they prove my paperwork then they know where i'm talking about so this is 40 foot wide plenty wide enough to get in and out just for the house but you might as well, if I mean, they'll put it in for me, so we might as well get all I can get out of it. But we was discussing it at the uh, the office the morning I stopped and picked up the paperwork to where not a lot of water in this ditch. Pretty much from here is gonna go that way. And then from in here is gonna go that way. So they said there's a chance since I'm right at the peak that they may be able to just do, you know, clean it out and just fill it plumb full of rock because there's nothing going to back up here that would cause problems and it's still going to turn and go that way. So that would be great if I don't have to get a culvert, uh, which they put in, I had to buy a small part of it and they put in the rest of it. So that's my proposed driveway for the house. And uh, it gets it up here to the top of this knoll. So you got plenty of room to look back toward Barney's and then of course you got all kinds of room looking back down toward the other gate. And then if this is in, you know, if the entrance is in, then I can try to uh, set a gate and then in time do like down there, put some black plank fence over and out and fan it out. But what's really gonna help me is when I get this in and then if I can get the electric company to work with me where that pole's right there, they had to come over on me and set a pole and then I can run it underground. So uh, seeing exactly where the house is gonna go, uh, which is probably gonna be right in here, 
which I'll have to do some dozer work, but I want the driveway to come up behind the house. The house is actually gonna face this way. I don't want it facing the road. <clears throat> that way we get sunrise behind the house in the morning and sunset in the evening. It gives you some more privacy uh, as far as people looking in, in, you know, in the front of the house or whatever. Uh, and then I can be here in the house and keep an eye on the garage and all of that. So that is my plan. So hopefully if we can get this in and I can get a little bit of work done, even if they told me if I come here and just drive us from stakes in the ground, like I'm marking out for a house, uh, then I can get them to start running the electric. Uh, I got to go to the health department. I think where I've got 13 acres, I don't have to have a, a plumbing permit, but they got a waiver that I can take to the water office. And it's $1,150 for the meter hookup now. I mean, every daggone thing is just stupid high. But what I'll probably do, I'm sure the water line's on that side, so they got a meter over here pretty close. They'll The water office will punch under the road and uh, put it over here so we'll try to get it to where when they punch it in, it's within this 40 foot. Uh, so if I do put like a plank fence like I done down there, there'd be enough room that the meter hopefully is outside that. And then when they go to read the meters, it doesn't matter if I got this gate shut or not, they can pull up and read it. And if it does have to be outside, they can step across the ditch. But uh, we'll figure that out when I can get them up here. Uh, so hopefully, Get a water meter punched across, uh, the driveway started, and maybe make it look like I'm gonna build the house. I, and I may not have to do no more than that to get them to come on and do it. They just didn't wanna run it underground all the way down there to the garage and then me not build a house. And the other part of that is too, is when we run it, uh, say if the back of the house is gonna be right in here or the side, uh, that above ground transformer would be uh, up close to the house. And so I put a temporary service and then still run it onto the garage and run it off temporary service until we start on the house and then it would be right here and we'll just have to go right over with a long sweep ale. The only other thing I'd kind of like to do, but I probably can't, is it'll have to be on this side of the house to where they can get, if they got across the ditch, if the gate was closed for some reason, and they can get to the meter to read it. So, like I said, trying to get it all figured out. I wanted to, I know it's a junkyard, y'all, but I still want it to look good. We worked so hard getting all this road frontage uh, straightened up and uh, looking good. I mean, I left that little walnut tree and I left a maple down there, a little small one. But, uh, so this is just part of the, one of the steps, driveway, hopefully the water, and then try to find the best price on the conduit we're in a ditch switch for the weekend and go from there. Uh, all right, I'm gonna wrap it up. I've talked too much. Uh, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe. And uh, I'll be back out here. Hopefully I can get all these videos loaded tonight. If not, I will tomorrow, but uh, I'll be back at work uh, tomorrow morning. We'll start this thing all over again. Uh, hopefully I can go get the uh, insulation boards for the little building and stop and get the uh, insulation and so tomorrow if i got in between customers or whatever i can try to get the, at least the walls insulated in that white fiber board put on the walls and then put my plug plate uh, and switch covers and stuff back on so there you go uh, like i said please help me out thumbs up comments subscribe catch you the next time i don't know man I feel like a bit weird today. I woke up so funky.